Because if it was open and I could see what's inside, then I'd be told. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Song of Horror. Now this game is currently out on Kickstarter and it is in its final hours, but I'll give a recommendation on whether or not it should be funded after I play the game. But I did want to mention that I'm currently wearing my King of the Squirrels shirt! It's a brand new shirt that's being sold for charity. It's got the Markiplier Heroes logo on the left sleeve. And I believe it's going to Doctors Without Borders this time. Uh, it's going to be a really good cause and this is limited edition so it will sell out very soon after I say these words so there's a link in the description where you can find this shirt in the store and you can buy it for yourself it's $20 this time instead of $25 for a charity shirt so with that being said let's get to the game let's get that mouse out of here so I got a controller because I loaded this up and I wanted to see exactly how I moved and I did not look at the controls last time so hold run Listen at door with Y, open, close inventory, interact, push door, road, play, flashlight. Okay, so what you guys are going to see is that this game is actually made on the Unreal Engine, which Hello? means that it has a little more graphical fidelity than anything uh, that Unity can do. Not that Unity makes bad games, that's not what I'm saying, but you'll see, like, the lighting is a bit better, like, uh, the environments are a bit more detailed and whatnot. I mean, everything, you know, it's not entirely dependent on the engine that it's made on, but it is dependent on a lot of outside sources like work and stuff like that, but it does allow more flexibility, so. Oh. Okay. So that's what listening to a door is. But why would I need to listen to a door unless there's gonna be a horrible monstrosity on the other side, which is probably the case. Okay, so the story is I actually had to go into the pause menu. It won't open. Okay, good for me. Daniel arrives at the Husher mansion searching for Sebastian P. Husher, famous writer who is absolutely missing. No question about that, absolutely. Upon arrival, he finds the door is open, but it seems that nobody is around. He decided to fulfill his objective. Daniel enters the house in search of Mr. Husher. So that's the story of why we're here, but this is a demo, so it's not entirely, this is what the developers want to say, it's not reflective of the final game, and who knows if the final game is going to be incredibly different, not very different, you never know, but I'm gonna play this because I have not given it a chance, but everything that I've seen about this game, I need a key to open this door, okay. So I should remember that, I suppose. Now, I will admit, the controls are a little wonky. Like, it, it wasn't controlling exactly like I thought it would be doing uh, when I first loaded this game up, because there's a lot of stop and start that I have to do, but I imagine that's just as I'm getting used to it. A tribal mask is hanging on the wall. Not very important for me! Let's see, should I go in these doors? Oh, I guess I can't go upstairs right now because it appears to be blocked off. Yeah, whoops, hang on. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. It's as if someone didn't want me to go upstairs. Yeah, maybe the developers, because game's not done yet! I will admit that it, it, it does have... Is that a noise that's important to me or is that bad? It does have a lot of like Resident Evil, Silent Hill vibes to the controls and whatnot. And kind of the elements and fear of the fixed camera perspective kind of gives that idea. Whoa. Yeah, see, I'll, 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 if it looks like I'm just not competent at playing games at all by walking into walls and objects, it's, it's not my fault. This game actually, it's, it's a little different in the controls than anything I've seen before because it's very turn-based, you know, just, just, it doesn't go where the camera, where you think you want to go for the camera. Okay. How about inspect? I'm inspecting. Use? This isn't working. I don't know what you wanted to do. It's a matchbox. I've never seen one before. Okay, what do we got here? Let's see. Whole lot of nothing. Ah, uh, did I mention this game is a demo? Quite a number of books, on the other hand, probably normal for a writer's house. Yeah, wouldn't you know it? Being a weirdo snooping around this guy's house. Guy who's absolutely missing. Why not take it upon yourself, Daniel? Daniels do tend to get themselves in trouble farther in the game that I've seen. I mean, in other games that I've seen. Not that I know what I'm talking about right now. Okay, light. Okay, you almost got it on target there. Oh, pretty close. Ooh, hello. Who are you? Hi! Whoa, okay, I can move the flashlight. Alright then, thank you. Hello? Husher's briefcase, apparently. Kinda weird that he left it here if he's out, unless he wasn't headed for work. Well, I mean, he's a writer, what does he have to do? The drawer is stuck, it sounds like there's something in it. How does it sound like there's something in it? I don't understand your logic behind that one, but apparently this guy's the world's greatest detective. What a mess. This looks like home. Is that just commentary on the slob lifestyle that you live? The sheer amount of books could easily bury me alive. That's a weird thought! That's an oddly specific thought to have when you look at a shelf of books. I mean, I don't often talk about being buried alive in my normal day-to-day -day life, let alone when I'm snooping around someone else's house. So there is a phone in the house. Husher must have been out when I called him each of the 30 times. Okay. 
What? Why? Why do I need to hide under something? What do you mean I need to hide under something? What are you talking about? What? Oh, you could go a little faster. How about this? This? What in the hell does that mean? Hello? Someone there? Is anybody there? Oh. Oh! I have no idea what just happened. How did- I have no idea what just happened! What happened? Alright, we're just gonna love that- we're just gonna leave that one alone. Alright then. I'm assuming there was a monster somewhere, but why did I know that I needed to hide? I, I mean, this is a demo, obviously, it's just for proof of concept than anything. But I didn't find a key. There was a door that I needed a key to. Oh, hello. Oh! Was this open before? Yeah, I think I went in here. Did I go in here before? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I did. Oh. That was not lit before, was that? Can't remember. A pendulum clock. My grandparents used to have a similar one. It would be cool. Oh! Hi! Whoa! Jesus! Oh, okay. Scare over now. That was cool. I guess I'm supposed to go in here? I didn't even know this door was here. Well, alrighty then. This may- Oh. Nice camera perspective. Really helps me out in my adventures. Oh, God. Creepy. Creepy, creepy. I didn't mean to pick that up. Okay. Whoa, look at it go! Look at it! It's a dancing free machine! Oh, it's so beautiful. I don't know what I'd use it on. I can't use this item here. Good! I forgot that I had an inventory. Oh, man, I didn't even know this was all over here. For God's sake, what's this awful stench? I don't know! Are there maggots squirming in the pot? Maybe it's the maggots, but I have no idea. Okay, another piece of the story that I didn't get. <laughs> Nothing to see yet. Nobody has washed these implements in a while, I'm guessing, because he's missing. Let's see, water, salt, pepper, a recipe book for traditional Russian cuisine. So it's a Russian guy. Oh, I got a key. Okay, cool. So, I know where to use this. Okay, this isn't working, obviously, because you don't use it on thin air, stupid. But, oh god, come on, man, control. Is this, what is this to my right? There we go, I thought it was a door. Of course I can't open it, and I bet this one won't work either. Oh, it will work! Okay. Whoa, whoa. What do you mean Daniel did not make it? What? Oh, I was supposed to listen to that door? I didn't know I was supposed to listen to that door! Well, that was hardly helpful for my everyday life! Daniel didn't make it. For God's sake, of course Daniel didn't make it! He didn't know what was gonna happen to him! Oh, I gotta start a new game? Well, damn it. Alrighty then. I'm sure there's something fun. Yeah, that doesn't sound too good! Alrighty then, I'll be on my way. I'm gonna flip on the light. Cause monsters are afraid of light, and that's what I've learned in everything I've ever done. Let me just pick up this piece of paper just so I have it. I don't know if it's important for the story, but I know that I'm gonna take it any- Oh, good. The lights flicker on and off when I leave a room. Okay, so what was it about this door that got unlocked? Obviously it did not. Oh, it did. Oh, okay. Oh, this is the re oh. Oh, no, it's not. Okay. So there was... Hey! God, okay, all right. A little randomized, a little randomized. Not bad with the handprints on the wall. A little bit of a jump to silence there, but it's okay. Okay, so do I gotta start listening on all the doors now? That is eerie. That is eerie. That's gonna be a really interesting game mechanic if that's in the final product. Oh, boy, here. Hello. Hi there, my name's Buckingham, Terence the the Lorry. Okay, this one didn't open, it was the other one that opened, okay. So the key is to this one, which I imagine goes down to the basement. Well, you have a key, open it up! Use the key, I don't know which one of these is the key. Use. There we go, okay. So let me listen to it first, because probably death is not on the other side, but... Be cur careful. Careful. I want to be careful. I want to be real careful about this one. Hello. Hi. Light work? Yes. Good. Oh, that just makes it worse. Oh boy. Is death on this door? Come on. Don't look at the light. Yeah, yeah, I know. Come on. Listen to this door. Okay. 
door probably doesn't go anywhere. Because if I'm thinking about the layout of the house, this is like some... Yeah, this is like some shining bull with how the hotel was laid out. Just some impossible geometry going on. Ooh, what is that? These- there are notes about domestic chores and timetables here, others are written in Cyrillic. I don't know what that means. Man, this- it slows things down if I have to listen to every door that I go behind. Otherwise, I'm just gonna die. I guess- I guess that's not a good alternative. But you know, I just kinda wanna figure out everything before I die. I wanna see everything, I wanna experience it all. Oilo! Special lubricant! Oilo, the oil you trust. Alrighty then. Ah, uh, should I run? No, let's dive head for the hokey. That guy looked very scared about that. Alrighty then. Let's hear. That sounds bad, but I can know for certain till I open the door. Let's go. Alright, goodbye, door of hell. I've got oilo. I don't know what oilo is for. Oh, maybe the drawer that was stuck. Can I please... There we go. Someone's filled a jar with very fine sand. Maybe the guy that lives in this house that I'm breaking into. Maybe, just maybe. Maybe, oh maybe, it might be his. Okay. So that door was good, but what about this door at the end of the hallway? Oh, that was grabbable. Not important, can't even read it. Okay. Let's listen to this door. Ugh, that's so creepy. My closet door is open. I don't remember opening it, though. Oh, that is weird. That is really weird. That is really weird. That closet door is never open. Oh. Oh. No, seriously, I'm not even joking, you guys. My closet door is open right now, and it's never open. It's never open. Ryan! Are you in there? No, okay. Oh. Oh, that's so weird. Oh. You know, you don't know how disconcerting it is because it's right over there. It's right over there. And it's open. But it, it's not open all the way, it's open just a crack. Which makes it even weirder because I can't see what's inside it. Because if it was open and I could see what's inside, then I'd be totally- <laughs> Okay, all right then. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay. So I'm pretty sure this might be the oil I need. Maybe it'll lubricate up the door. I've got a rag that I could use with it. Or the drawer. Because the drawer was either stuck or it was locked or something. One or the other. Okay. Come on now. All right. This drawer is stuck. Okay, so if I use... Oh, this is the oil. Yeah, oil, use that. I think I can grease it with the oil. So do it! Okay, there we go. Got it. What do we got? There's a key inside. Key to what? I don't know what this key goes to. The briefcase? Uh, how about the... Do I, do I open the briefcase? No, probably not. Okay, so there's gotta be another door that this key goes to, but I don't remember another door being locked anywhere. Maybe there's something in here for this planetarium here. Not planetarium. Planetarium. Well, that door is still... Still not looking fun. Still not looking fun. And why? Even, like, I don't even care who Husher is. Why do I care so much that I'm willing to work... What happened? Whoa. Jesus. Don't do that. That is weird. That was weird camera work right there. Oh, come on. Come on now. Oh, there was a stool in the way. Never mind. Okay, so there's gotta be another door... Somewhere around here. Can I not- Can I not go through this door? What the hell? Okay, never mind then. Oh yeah, that's right! Oh, that's right! Hide or run very far! I can't run! I can't run! I can only meand- Oh god, you stool bitch! Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Okay. I know I said I was gonna go on the open, but I don't wanna die again. I don't wanna go through all this progress again. It would be scarier if I could see something! You fucking- I'm- I'm closing that closet. That's bullshit. Bullshit closet. No way. No way. Oh god, my other door was open! Who's in there? Bullshit. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. What happened? Am I dead? My- God, he's still doing the thing. 
like my 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 closet door and my bathroom door were both open and I closed them all the time. I always closed them. I checked out I checked everything. I checked the, everything. There's no one in my room. Okay. Okay, good. Finally. Jesus. Uh. <sighs> anyway, sorry. I'm okay. Okay, so now I have a key, but I don't know what the key go to goes to. So that's one of my number one priority right now. Need a key to open this door. Got it. I found the locked door. Goody goody gumdrops for me. Okay, use this one. Perfecto. Okay. All right. Whoa. This looks like a fun hallway. Oh, I can't wait to traverse this. Oh boy. Goody good. Good good good. Oh, this is where I go down into the basement. You know, I seem to be diving headfirst into all this trauma. Oh, candles, good. I'm sure a cult's down here. Fun times for me. Oh, what is that? Oh, what is that? What is that? What is that? Oh, it's a mirror. Okay, never mind then. All right. There's an old mirror. So that was Song of Horror. That actually had a lot of really interesting things about it, but for it being a Kickstarter demo, that was actually pretty good proof of concept. Has a lot of interesting ideas. The creeping through the house, like the haunted house aspect of it is really nice, and uh, it adds a few new elements to it, like listening to the door and being very slow and methodical about everything. If they can hammer out the control scheme a little better, because it was only slightly frustrating, but I did like the fixed camera perspective, just a little refining on the subject, could be good for this game, and it looks pretty good too. Um, just because of the engine that it is. Needs a little refinement on the animations, but I'll give it to that. It's a demo, obviously, they're trying to kickstart the game. Good proof of concept, though. I think it has a lot of potential. If you do, too, there's a link down to the Kickstarter. I'm not funded by this in any way. They're not sponsoring me to do this. I really do think that this could be good. There's only a few hours left on the Kickstarter, though, so if you want to support it, give it a look. Link's down there. That's all I'll say about it. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching, and do check out the Five Nights, or the King of the Squirrels, not Five Nights, what am I talking about? King of the Squirrels t-shirts, proceeds go to Doctors Without Borders. It's a great charity, and I hope you guys will support it. Limited edition, only about 4,000 or so were printed, so thank you, everybody, so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Bye! That's a baby head fountain! It's a, it's a baby head nuclear explosion. My God, hi. How's it going there? Oh, oh, that's my head.